Welcome back to 225 Latin Live Tab G Tutorials. Today I'm going to be talking about blessings. The most distinct part of Tab G that makes the game what it is is all of these little rings right here. Now I covered these a little bit in my full on Tab G head to toe tutorial, but today I'm going to talk about the best blessings, the worst blessings, and blessing combinations with guns. Now the overall general rule is that when you find blessings in the game, you have to get guns to fit said blessings, even if it's a common blessing. For instance, if you find common recycling, then you're going to think it's pretty bad. Bad if you have something like an MG42, which has a very, very slow reload, but it is very, very good if you find a one-shot weapon like a blunderbuss, because as I said in my weapons video, every time you shoot it and you reload it, that's 15 HP for you in a firefight, which is very, very nice. So even if it's a common uh, blessing, you need to find weapons that fit the blessings that you have. But in early game, if you have a gun that is benefited by blessings that you don't have and you're looking for them, that's kind of a recipe for disaster. So the blessings that you have, even if they're common, you got to find guns that correlate to them. So, for instance, if you find something like uh, a epic poison or, let's say, epic storm, these these are blessings, of course, that affect uh, the target based off of the bullets that you shoot. So you're going to want to have weapons that have a lot of bullets. Like if you want to shoot Glock 18s, so you want to have twin Glocks, then this has a lot of bullets and it'll affect your targets very, very well. So if I spawn one of these samurais here, two of them actually, then you'll see that each bullet will strike them down pretty quickly, as long as I don't die because I'm good. Yeah, so, of course, the blessings that you have, you have to get guns to correlate with them. That's the general rule. Always think about that. What blessings that you have, what guns will uh, be most benefited by them? So, first of all, we're going to start with the common tiers of ones that, that are very consistent. Um, the this, this blessing is, of course, all across all four tiers, uh, Bloodlust and The Hunt. The hunt and bloodlust, I can't actually show you their effectiveness in the shooting range because each kill that you get doesn't actually change your kill st stat. So what the bloodlust and hunt do across all tiers is give you a specific percentage of uh, max HP and speed per kill that you have. So of course, there are instances in which a, a common hunt will be better than a legendary speed because you have like 20 kills or something like that. So you're going to want to look for, if you have no kills because you're bad, you got to find a, like something like speed blessings or health blessings. But if you have a lot of kills because you're good, then you need to get blessings like the hunt and bloodlust, which will get exponentially better with the amount of kills that you have. Now, it should be noted that if you want uh, to, if you're running just pure bloodlust and you want more health, then the common health blessing gives you plus 30% health. So in order to effectively uh, outshine the health blessing and get rid of that, then you need to have five kills because the common bloodlust is plus 6% max HP for kill. So you need five kills because five times six is 30 and that's the 30 HP benefit from the regular common health. But of course, this scales up in the rarity of the blessing. For instance, the legendary bloodlust, which gives you plus 20% max HP for kill. So of course, you only need two to outweigh it and then you're actually doing much better. Uh, and that goes the same thing for speed blessings as well. So as the tiers go up, you're going to have to look at how many kills you need and pretty much just calculate that which one's going to be more effective as you use it. Now next, cardio. Cardio is also a very, very good blessing. How it works is that you get, for each tier, you get a specific amount of HP regen per meter when you move. So it's pretty good when you're just running around because if you have damage, then you'll pretty much just get it back. So what I'll do is I'll just hurt myself with this fire grenade for a minute. If I throw this down and I stand on the outside for a bit, you'll see that it's gonna do some damage to me. Now I'll run off and you'll see that I'll, I'm slowly regening. And this is pretty good. But it's much, much better when you have a speed blessing or anything that makes you faster. This also works for jump pads and teleport spells. Anything that makes you move will make your cardio more effective. So if I put on this legendary speed, you'll see that it makes me regen much faster. Even with this common cardio, uh, that regen is very, very fast compared to when I don't have any speed. So this is, in my opinion, better than the regular regen blessing. Because if you correlate it with a speed blessing, then it makes you heal much, much quicker. On that note, we'll transition to the regen blessing, which is right here. This has uh, consistent regen, unlike cardio, which will only regen you when you're moving. Regen uh, is pretty good when you go up the tiers, but honestly, I prefer it to be correlating with cardio, something that heals you when you're moving, because that is per meter you move. So if you have something moving, it's very, very nice, as I said. This also increases your healing item speed, which is very convenient. I can't show this in the shooting range, but 
when you're using it, it does make your healing items, your bandages, and your med kits faster. So that is to be noted if you're done not dot swapping. Now, next to be noted is Dash. I talked about this in my uh, head to toe tutorial how Dash is probably one of the worst blessings. It does boost you forward a bit, which actually does work with cardio, but. Uh, it, it makes this noise that is will alert everyone to your position, this loud car horn. So that alert everyone to where you are, and it has this stupid cooldown. And of course, the cooldown is lower as you go up. Uh, but you see, it's the same car horn in this car, pretty much. Just a little bit uh, higher pitch. So it does the same thing. Either way, that uh, th reveals your location. Just don't ever pick it up for any reason. Now, next, we're going to move on to the per bullet uh, blessings, which there's four of them. There's poison. There is Storm, Vampire, and Ice. So they, these four are all uh, dependent on the, the bullets that your gun shoots. So of course, as I said, the more bullets you shoot, the more effective it is. So how these blessings work is for, for Ice, it makes your bullets slow target movement. So each bullet slows your target by 15% for a short amount of time. Poison, 20% of bullet damage over 8 seconds. Storm has a lightning charge. Which, uh, so if this is 20%, so it takes 5 bullets to have a little lightning strike that goes over them and stuns them for a little bit, does a little bit of damage. Then, uh, Vampire's Lifesteal, which is very, very nice. So I'll demonstrate this on all of these. So you'll see that those lightning strikes are coming up. Poor bullet, I actually got hit because I'm pretty bad, might die. Unless he's dead, yeah. So... The, the ice actually slows them down quite a bit. What I'll do is I'll grab each specific one and I'll fill my tears with it so you'll get an example of it. So we're going to start with ice. We'll get a legendary, rare, and epic ice to show just how much it'll slow your movement. And all of these are based per bullet. So now that we've got all of the best ice blessings, if I spawn one of these guys, you'll see that as, just the little bit of that spray on him, he's very, very slow. He doesn't even move at all. Uh, and this lasts for a little bit of time, so it's useful. If you are uh, facing somebody who has high mobility, then you can immobilize them pretty quickly. But um, if, if you have three Ice Blessings, um, that's not very, very good because you would much rather have three Storm Blessings because that means each bullet will hit them with a Lightning Strike. So if I grab this Legendary Storm here, this Epic Storm, and then a Rare Storm as well, then then I'll spawn in one of these Samurais again, 500 HP. You'll see... That he each pretty much pretty much every time I shoot it'll lightning strike him. That does a bit of that does damage and it kind of shoot like stuns them a little bit of knockback. So that's very very nice. Now next to be noted is poison. Uh, again does the exact same thing, but it's pretty much like poison in pretty much every other game. Uh, each of the tiers of course go up with the percent of bullet damage that goes up in eight seconds. So that goes up for each tier. So you're gonna have to keep that in mind. For legendary it's the most which is fifty percent which is very very high. So poison takes you to 1 HP, it doesn't actually kill you, but still it whittles them down pretty quickly. So if I shoot all of this, you'll see that his HP is slowly going down, so this will take him down. Of course, it's actually not nearly as effective as Storm, because you saw he got really close to me, but still it does really nicely. Now next, which is probably the best out of all of them, is Vampire. All I'll do is put on one of them and show you a bit of it. So I still, I'm, I'm pretty low from that one time he hit me, so now you'll see that when I shoot him, quickly it fills me up to full. This is very, very nice because uh, it has the life steal. So the more vampires you have or the better tiers you have, the better. Each shot is very, very, uh, it heals you quite quickly. So that is something to be noted, just how effective the vampire is. Also per bullet, obviously. And I've made a mess of this place. But you can see that that vampire is very nice in firefights. When you're shooting somebody, that'll heal you back. Now next is relax. Relax is very useful if you are uh, pretty low on damage. So we're, again, going to hurt ourselves a bit with the fire nade. So... This has done me pretty much half my damage, and now, relax, it gives you this uh, 10 HP regen while lying down and a healing radius. So when I lay down, you'll see that it'll heal me to, uh, pretty much like 10 HP per second, and it gives that little bit of healing radius so I can heal my teammates as well. But what's nice about this is that it is when you're laying down, but it's also not uh, explicitly when you're laying down. You can use it with the jump ticks of the relax. So when you're jumping, you can tap Z for a second to uh, pretty much lay down when you're in the air and come back down. So this is also, it's not very effective when you have just the common one, but it does get better with when they go up. So if you have a legendary relax, it's a good way to take advantage of it. Uh, but it's a, it's, a, it's a solid way. If you need to heal, you're in a firefight, you're in a pinch, then you can do that. Now next is shield. I talked about shield. It's not explicitly very, very good. It's, it's all right, but it's, it's kind of a waste of a slot. It's all right if you have nothing. If you have a legendary shield, you don't want to like 
put it over some even like a, a common recycling to be honest like legendary shield is kind of a waste of a slot all of the shield blessings are not that good only good for early game when you have absolutely nothing else that makes a little shield around you i won't even show it now next weapon mastery this is one of the best blessings in the game uh besides like recycling and some of the others this was what makes the mg42 so effective because if you have a compensator on it which i shall grab very quickly Having a compensator and a, even a common weapon mastery makes the MG42 very, very controllable. It makes it much, much more usable on the battlefield once you get used to its, its spray. So, for instance, if I take both of these off, then you can see just how much less usable it is, which is what makes it very, very nice. Of course, it also benefits from the spray blessing. Spray increases your fire rate, your mag size, and your reload speed, which is, of course, it becomes most effective when you have guns like Twin Glocks, for instance, the MG42, all of these high spray weapons. It makes your spray much faster, it makes your, uh, your, your fire rates faster, your reload speeds faster, your mag size is higher. So, for instance, if I get this legendary spray, you can see 100% fire rate, 80% mag size, 80% reload speed. So, pretty much double everything. So, you can see that now... Of course, it's less controllable when I don't have the Weapon Mastery on, but if I also grab a Legendary Weapon Mastery to pair with it, you can see that now this thing shoots devastatingly quick with precise accuracy as well, which is what makes these Blessing combos very, very good. And you can see that also it reloads very, very quickly. That's how fast the reload is. There's a ton of bullets, which is what makes it very, very battle effective. If you have these Spray weapons, then Spray and Weapon Mastery makes you a very devastating gunner. But of course, that's two of your three slots that are taken up. You need to uh, be very careful and choose your blessings wisely. And next, we go into the rare tier. Uh, there are only two special rare blessings that are not found in any other category. That being Airstrike and Pull. I think I just uh, I pulled, picked up Pull a little bit earlier. So airstrike and pull are the only two rare special uh, blessings in the rare category. So pull will pull targets towards you. It doesn't work on the target dummies, but what I can do is demonstrate this with a samurai. You'll see that uh, just each bullet pulls me a little bit closer towards me, which is actually a recipe for death. So pull pretty much just got me killed, which is what's going to happen when you are using uh, pull with anyone who has a shotgun, because then you're just pulling someone closer to you when they have a gun that's effective at close range. So uh, not very good. Now I shall also demonstrate airstrike. Airstrike is only to be used in a pinch, and don't also keep. It, there's no reason to keep it equipped all the time. Basically, you just go into your map, you pin a spot, and then it'll send an airstrike in that direction. Uh, it takes a bit, and then some bombs will come down. It can kill you. For instance, I just killed that guy. But um, it's never to be just consistently equipped because that is a 60 second cooldown, so just take it out for 60 seconds, then put it back in. And as for every other blessing that is in here, all of them are are just upgrades from the previous tier, which is no surprise. Um, except for, uh, this is where Rare Lit Beats starts. This Lit Beats starts at uh, Rare and goes up to Epic and Legendary. Um, rare Lit Beats is very, very bad. I'll do a little quick demonstration of that. So what I'll do is I shall grab an AKS and not a sniper rifle to demonstrate this, even though it would most likely be used with a sniper rifle. Uh, how Lit Beats works is that if when you are scoped in, when you are ADSing, then if you it has a little beat that plays like this and you have to shoot on beat in order for it to actually do any damage so if i shoot off beat you'll see that the projectiles just sort of go down so all my bullets go down when i'm shooting off beat uh, i have to take off the the suppressor to make them actually visible you can see that all of them go down like that but if i am shooting on beat You can hear that it actually it, it makes a different noise and it makes them do more damage, but not good. Don't use this. Maybe you can use it on a sniper rifle, but honestly, you want to be lining up your shots whenever you want and not in correlation with some random beat. Now, next, of course, all of these, as I said, are pretty much just uh, upscalings of the previous common blessings. So rare weapon mastery is better than common just by 10%, but that scales up indefinitely until the legendary scale. So next on the epic list, epic is when some real special blessings start. There are the most epic blessings in the game out of any others. The special ones are these. There's the mad mechanic, the assassin, insight, where it's small. These are the four uh, special, unique epic blessings. There are, only, there are four of them, which is twice as much as the rare. So you can see that here are those ones. So there's Insight, which lets you see enemies through walls at close range. I'll pull up a little bit of a clip of that. That's very useful when you're uh, in a tight situation in close quarters, when you can just sort of see people and gun them whenever uh, they're close to you. It also it shows a little bit of an ESP, so you can actually see people way easier, even when they're far away, and it shows their health, which is nice. 
Next, there's small, which just makes you 40% smaller, which is pretty funny. Um, it, it makes you harder to hit, but it also makes you slower, so keep that in mind. You're going to want to have um, a speed blessing when you have this. Next is Mad Mechanic. Mad Mechanic makes you throw three grenades instead of one, which is very, very nice, but it decreases your HP by 20%, so that's not very nice. So it is very, very nice when you have like fire grenades or something like that, uh, or even or orbital strikes if you have them, because then you could throw these three times, and that does a lot more damage than it typically would. Even when these guys respawn, they'll still die, simply because of how much fire there is here, which is pretty cool. But also it makes you a little bit smaller, so keep that in mind. You want to have a health blessing. So if you have mana mechanic, you need health. If you have small, you need speed. Next is the assassin. This one, um, I haven't actually seen it that much when I've been playing with it, but it's quite deadly. Um, how this works is it makes all of your guns have one bullet, and it makes their damage um, deal no damage, but then deal 200 damage over time. So 10 seconds specifically. So what I'll have to do is I'll spawn in one of these 100 HP samurais here. Actually, I have to reload because I missed a shot. I'll spawn in him. I'll shoot at him. You'll see that it's starting to do damage to him over time. Uh, in the training range, at least, it doesn't actually kill him. You'll see that he just doesn't die. It takes him to one. Um, I think it's, it's not like that in the regular game, but honestly, I haven't seen it enough to be sure of that. Uh, it's actually it's it's kind of rare like I, I even though it's an epic blessing and it should spawn in just as much as the others I haven't seen it that much and I've only actually been in combat with it once again I have 200 hours on this game and I actually haven't been using it that much So otherwise there are a couple there are two other blessings uh, Categories at least uh, other among these two other categories There are a couple blessings that start here both in epic and legendary there is words of justice storm call healing words and battle cry. So these are the four. So battle cry increases your weapon handling and your fire rate for a little bit. So this makes you, it's pretty much, it's a temporary weapon mastery and spray. So when you use your catchphrase, it makes your gun better. So yeah, it makes, it makes your gun temporarily better for a little bit. Of course, it's better in the legendary tier, but you'll see that when it runs out, we don't shoot quite as fast. So now, Words of Justice is pretty cool. You say your catchphrase, and then it pretty much enchants your weapon. Your next shot is like that sword that comes down, and it does damage and knocks them back quite a bit. Uh, that's pretty cool, but also, like, it's not explicitly good. Next, Storm Call. What I'll do is I'll take out my other uh, Healing Words Blessing. The Storm Call, you use your catchphrase, and it basically it, it makes this, um, this uh, lightning shield around you. There are two of these, of course. And it, it's pretty much like, it's pretty similar to Storm, but... Yeah, it's um, it, it's pretty it's pretty deadly, uh, especially the legendary one. The legendary one makes it much much more effective, uh, which I shall demonstrate in a bit. And it's also very nice with storm, uh, with storm. Then you're doing like a lot of lightning damage and you're knocking them over. So I'll find the legendary storm or the storm call here. So I'll run up to these guys, and it does a lot of damage. Make it pretty much just it, it tenders them up for me to kill them a lot easier. It lasts for a really long time too, and the aura is bigger. So that is the uh, effectiveness of uh, th that blessing. But next is actually one that I missed, which is charge. I'll have to find it real quick. So the legendary charge is significantly better than the epic one. So for the epic one, uh, what I'll do is I'll say my catchphrase, and then this will give me a boost. It's a very good speed boost, 150%, and it lasts for a bit of time. So that it'll end in just a moment. And after that, it has a 10 second cooldown, 10 and a half specifically, and then it'll start up again. But what I can do is I can take this out, put the legendary one on instead, and say the catchphrase. First off, it makes you faster. Uh, next, the cooldown is shorter. So basically, pretty much as soon as this ends, it's ready again. So you'll see it'll give me like two and a half seconds, something like that. Yeah, one second, and then I can use it again, which is what makes it very, very good. These are only, as I said, available in the epic and legendary uh, tiers. So that's the only place you can find them. Now, the last one is Healing Words. This is the last special one. Uh, this one is both in epic and legendary, and it just it'll, it'll heal you uh, after you deal some damage. If some damage is done to you, then you just say your catchphrase, and then it'll heal you a bit. So it takes a bit to get into effect if you have the epic one. If you have the legendary one, then it'll do it quicker. Which is something you have to keep in mind. Now, otherwise, all of the blessings are exactly the same. You'll see that all of these are available in every other tier, pretty much. All of the, the standard ones, like the common ones, all of these go up in their tiers all the way up to legendary. So they just get better and better. Now, all of these they'll find all over the map and they'll affect your guns. But the best way that you can take proper advantage of them is if you get guns to fit the blessings that you have. 
This is something I touched on in the beginning of the video, and it is quite, quite crucial. It's a general rule that you always need to go for uh, to use good guns to correlate with the good blessings that you have. My favorite recipe for success is when I would have the blunderbuss and three other blessings, and those blessings were any speed blessing, cardio, and recycling. So what I'll do is I will grab the uh, legendary of each of those. So legendary cycling, legendary speed, and legendary cardio. And this is not as properly being able to be demonstrated in the shooting range, but I'll pull up some clips of me using it because I have a lot of clips of me killing people with this deadly combo. It's Gandalf, get it, that's please. <laughs> it's Gandalf, get him. I died. not see me, bro. Fucking a market. They're back. I got a market. Come here, Gandalf. Bitch. Yeah, this, please. Josh, oh, Josh. Oh. oh, that was that was the last people. I, I, I don't one. know. <laughs> Neither did I. This makes me quick, so you can imagine how this, how useful this is going to be in game. So I'll do a bit of damage to myself and show you just how effective it is. So I am pretty low already, but what I can do is each reload heals me 50 damage, and when I'm running around, then it heals me up quickly. And you don't even have to have the cardio. The cardio is optional, to be honest, but if you replace it with vampire, you'll heal yourself just as well if you're hitting your shots more often. Vampire is nicer if you're moving around less and you have a spray weapon. But this is a very, very deadly combo because you're running around, hitting people, like healing yourself with every reload. And if you have uh, the vampire instead of cardio, you're healing yourself with every shot too. So this is what makes you very, very dangerous. And of course, this works best with the blunderbuss. And all of these healing related blessings do you very, very good because all in all, the recipe for the victory and dangerousness in the game is mobility health and damage. Of course, damage can be done with any uh, weapons that you have, but health and speed and mo general mobility, so mobility could be both uh, speed and jumping, that is only done from blessings. So you can only get more health and mobility from blessings, but you can get your damage from anywhere else. So the blessings that you typically want to have are blessings that increase your mobility and your health. So your those each categories, your mobility and your health, can come in two different ways. Your mobility, as I said, can come from speed and jump, and your health can come from either greater max hit points or healing ability. Like, in, for instance, cardio and recycling are healing ability, but legendary health is max HP. So if you have these two, then it is the recipe for dangerousness. So you get those ingredients, and then you start cooking, my friends.